The theme for this year's summit is human-centric AI. How do we design, develop, and deploy AI that puts the human at the center of this human um, AI equation? We have been as a firm, and I personally, fairly vocal around transparent AI and the need and barriers to transparent AI, as well as the ethics involving um, the development of artificial intelligence. You know, one of the analogies that we constantly think of and what we build is when we talk about a doctor who has good bedside manner, we don't mean that she or he has more or less clinical knowledge than someone else. They're better at connecting to a patient. And a lot of that's around emotion. You know, so while ultimately what we're trying to do is deliver better health care, it comes down to the psychology and the emotion and how we connect to them that lets us do that. AI needs to be used as a tool that provides benefit to the end consumer. The consumer needs to uh, approve and want the outcomes from the AI exercise. Longer term, though, I think it would be great if AI can use all that data for how people move in and out, where people are living, what kinds of options people have, and kind of provide a data-driven insights to better plan transportation services. And there's actually a psychology behind, right? Do you call this vehicle self-driving or do you call it driverless? People actually are more scared of driverless because they feel like if it's driverless, who's watching this? So the more sophisticated we get about understanding the sharp edges of technology products that are being produced right now and working to ameliorate those challenges, the better we can be at allowing technology to come into parts of daily life that really need assistance.